What's up everyone, Nick here once again bringing to you another Android TV Box review. Today's model is a brand new release from VC Box and this is their latest live TV model called the V3 Pro. This model, unlike previous models, uses Amlogic hardware with better performance, storage and not to mention their signature live TV service. So in this review, we'll have a look at the live TV, its new Amlogic hardware, its firmware features, I'll test its media playback and gaming performance, and I'll run some performance benchmarks to see where it ranks on my chart. So I'll get right to it after this brief intro. And welcome back. So here you get the new V3 Pro model itself. They provided a Bluetooth voice remote with a mouse feature, a long HDMI cable, a 5 volts 2 amps DC power supply, and of course your user manual. So its body is made of plastic and I'm happy to see that it's a new housing design as we have seen many manufacturers reusing the same housing in the past couple of years. At the back for IO, you get one HDMI 2.1 port, one non-gigabit Ethernet LAN port, one USB 3.0, another USB 2.0, a micro SD card reader, one AV port and its DC input socket. To its front has an LCD display and to its base has four rubber feet with no ventilation holes. So its first boot up includes the pairing of the Bluetooth remote. Once this is done, you have a first startup wizard. So this is the VC Box Launcher and it's running on Android TV OS. If I head over under the About section, here it shows the operating system is Android 11 TV OS and its firmware build information. So back to the launcher. Because it's running on Android TV OS, it does not have a navigation bar or status bar. This launcher does not have a designated app section and instead list all the installed apps on the top row. You do however have the option to rearrange them for easy access. If you need a designated app section, you can install the sideload launcher from the Play Store. The middle row consists of your recommended apps and these are your live TV and video on demand apps. Out of the box, none of these come pre-installed and to access their signature service, you will have to download and install them manually. So I will install them for this demonstration. The bottom row is where you will find your settings area, launcher settings, software updates, etc. So the live TV and video on demand apps installed quickly in one click. They provide 2031 channels in various categories under the Heat Live app. You get 2,599 channels under the Heat Backup app that you can play back from the last 7 days. Under Heat VOD, you get 41,135 movies on demand. And under Heat Ultra, you get 16,000 plus movies all in high definition only from top movie streaming services. So what I can tell you about their service in comparison to other popular live TV models is that I've been using their X2 Pro model since May this year and I'm very satisfied with the service. I don't get movies looping continuously, channels going down for maintenance, or buffering regularly. This I've experienced in some of the other competing models, hence the reason it remained my daily box for watching live TV in addition to the Elite model from Tangular. So I have no doubt that this new X3 Pro model will deliver just the same. 
With that said, this box is a standard Android box also, and let's have a look at its firmware features. It has 4K 2160p at 59.94Hz display resolution. It has HDR display with adaptive HDR feature. It has up to 12-bit color space. It has a functional HDMI CEC feature. It has power button options. You can create custom shortcuts to apps using the colored keys on the remote. The ability to enable or disable surround sound audio. And it has Google Assistant feature. For system and hardware, the manufacturer is Droid Logic and it runs on 4GB of DDR3 RAM and 64GB of internal storage with Bluetooth 5.0. Its CPU is the Amlogic S905Y4 processor, a quad-core Cortex-A35 model clocked at 2.0GHz configured in 32-bit mode. Its GPU is the mid-range performance Mali G31 with OpenGL 3.2. It provides dual band 2.4 plus 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It's running on Android 11 tvOS and it's not rooted. It has Vulkan GPU support API version 1.1. Its thermal sensor is disabled. It comes with video decoders such as HEVC, AV1 and VP9 decoding. For surround audio, it comes with Dolby Atmos EAC3 and DTS HD. There are no Dolby Vision decoders. During this video, I was prompted with a firmware update, which is always a good sign for user support. So I'll complete this update and continue. So the firmware updated successfully, and let's have a look at its digital rights management. For digital movie rights, it comes with Widevine Level 1 with HDCP 2.3 protection. With this level of protection, you can watch popular movie streaming services in HD quality. With this level of DRM and HDCP 2.3, even though it does not have a Netflix ESN license, with your HD subscription, you can install the newest HDR modified version via APK and watch movies in HDR quality. For a link to this HDR modified version, contact me via email at tvboxstop at gmail.com. For watching YouTube videos, you get up to 4K 2160p with HDR on the default Android TV version of YouTube. And here are the Stats for Nerds information. For mobile screen mirroring, it comes with the official version of Mirrorcast and the Google Assistant. However, I could not get any of these to work. So I had to use the AirScreen app instead. Let's have a look at its 4K HDR AV1 video playback capabilities. So this is an HDR10 AV1 video and it triggers the HDR feature and it plays smoothly. And this is using the built-in movie player. Next is a Dolby Vision video and seeing that it does not have any Dolby Vision decoders, it plays as an HLG video. Next is a Dolby Vision video encoded with Dolby Atmos and it plays as HDR10 with Atmos. Next is an HDR10 Plus video and it plays smoothly. And here's another HLG. 
So this box has full 4K AV1 HDR video playback capabilities. For surround audio, when connected to my 7.1 AV receiver, it was able to process some of the major surround sound audio formats. Let's have a look. For Dolby Audio, you get a Dolby Atmos. To moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Here, you get Dolby Digital Plus. Or captures the and Dolby Surround. You don't get a Dolby True HD. For DTS Audio, you get a DTS Virtual X only. You don't get a DTS HD Master Audio or DTS X. Gaming on this box is average and you can enjoy some decent gameplay on medium to high graphic settings. If you are interested in Core Alec, you can install it using the Arch64 version in their NE directory and using the S905W2 4GB DTB. It can be installed via SD card or USB flash drive. And now a look at some benchmarks and where it ranks on my chart. First, the speeds of its RAM and internal storage. It has a RAM transfer speed of 3,638 megabytes per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 151 megabytes per second and a write speed of 104 megabytes per second. In testing, its Wi-Fi and LAN speeds on my 315 megabits per second network, using a Wi-Fi 6 router, its 5 GHz band achieved the maximum speed of my network. Its 2.4 GHz band also performed really well, achieving 205 megabits per second. However, its LAN port is not a gigabit LAN port, so it only achieved 94 megabits per second. In benchmarking, its CPU's single-core and multi-core performance, the Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark registered a score of 112 single-core and 374 multi-core. In benchmarking its GPU, it had abysmal performance, registering a 3 mark Wild Life Test score of 190 with an average FPS of 1.1. And for rank chart placement, I ran the Antutu Comprehensive Benchmark and it registered a score of 91,312. So I've updated the rankings chart with the V3 Pro and it currently ranks at position 44 with a 3 out of 5 star rating. To compare its results and features to other boxes in this list, I recommend you view it on a PC or laptop and maximize it to full screen using the button in the bottom right corner. See the link to this chart in the description below this video. In summary, VCBox is becoming one of the most popular live TV boxes according to analytics received from purchase data and customer support. Due to this, they decided to upgrade their hardware to Amlogic delivering faster performance and reduced buffering while watching your streams. There's a lot you can do on this box compared to their previous model and it's also one of the lowest priced models running on Amlogic hardware. So I'm quite comfortable recommending this model to purchase as one of the best that comes with live streaming channels. So that sums up my review. Special thanks to VCBox for their continued support to this channel and to enjoy lower rates than the retail price listed on their website, they provided a $50 off coupon reducing the price to $2.99, a link to which can be found in the description below this video. 
So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up to show your support and to improve the ratings of this channel. The link in the description is an affiliate link, so be sure to use it so that I earn a commission on your purchase that goes towards the upkeep of this channel and securing more boxes for review. So thanks in advance for using my link. If you are new to my channel, then I urge you to click the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell to be notified when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway of one of these boxes. Thanks again for watching, stay connected and see you in the next one.